Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. Once a week I pick some topic of interest in C++ and dig into it with some live coding. In this episode I'm again continuing my series on new features in C++ 17 by discussing structured bindings. I'm going to try something new today and I'm going to be using the Compiler Explorer from Matt Godbolt for my entire demonstration. And I'm going to take us on a journey from C++03 to C++11, C++14, C++17 to see what is possible with the new structured binding features and how things can be improved. So to start with, I am going to be demonstrating some code that is similar to code that I used to have in ChiScript and I'll show you how this code can evolve. So for our purposes, we want to have a map of local variable names and we want to throw an error if you try to redefine a variable. So for the sake of this example we're just going to assume that all local variables are integers and we're going to use that for our examples. And it is also worth mentioning at this point that I am having to use changes that were posted to Clang's repository on Subversion as of yesterday, I believe, to be able to even get this to work. At least the C++ 17 features that I will be demonstrating in a moment. So we're going to say that we want to get back a variable, we want to add a local, and we want to get back the value of this local that we've added. We want to get back a reference to it, that is. So this is pretty straightforward, except we're not going to get any uh, anything actually working yet because we're not doing anything in our add local yet. So starting in C++03, if you will, we would need to do something like this. So here we have created a pair of map iterator to bool, and we are using that to get the return value from vars.insert. And then we can say if new var dot second equals false, that means that we failed to actually insert a value because one already existed with that key. So here we want to throw our runtime error. And that does what we expect. And then in our else, we want to return the reference to the value that is the first thing So this is difficult to navigate, even if you are familiar with these things. But what we have here is NuVar is a pair that contains an iterator and a bool. So we have to access the first element, which is the iterator. And the iterator itself points to a pair, which is the key and the value, a string and an int. And then we want to return the integer by reference, and that works and we can assign to the integer here. And for the sake of getting rid of all warnings in our example, we can return that integer. And that's an awful lot of work to not really accomplish very much, but you get the idea. So this is C++03. And in C++11, we already gain ourselves a whole lot of advantage by being able to simply do auto. And this is great, but it's still got a little bit more moving pieces to it than we would prefer. But we can still do everything that we want to do. And I'm going to turn off the colorizing. What C17 now is giving us is our structured binding support that we can use in collaboration with our if and it list to do something like this. So there we go. 
In combination with our if initializer list, we are able to get the return value from our insert here, and then we are able to use auto with bracket syntax for our structured binding support, and then check if success is false, we want to throw a runtime error. If we succeeded, then we want to return the second element of our iterator, which is the integer that was just inserted. And we can take this one step further if we were so inclined. So the structured bindings can work with pairs, definitely. Tuples, yes. They can also work with structs. We can do things like use some default initialization in our structs. And we can see here, we're just going to uh, comment out this code, an S called S, and then do something like this. And to make it even that much more interesting, actually, there we go. Return I and And we can see here that the compiler is able to completely optimize away our use of the structured bindings also and simply return for from main. So this is just uh, starting to scratch the surface of what's possible with structured bindings. I'm sure this is the kind of thing that lots of really smart people are going to find creative ways of abusing, but I am definitely looking forward to the ways that we can combine, at the very least, our if initializer list and structured binding support coming in C17. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.